This is artist Franklin Jonas, creator of the Star Project. This is a video on how to install 30 stars information. Please watch this entire video before hanging your art. You may want to take notes. Your star shipment comes with a supply kit which includes white cotton conservator gloves, a 9 inch plastic non-magnetic level, a self-centering drill bit, a long drill bit, screws for the template, screws for the magnets, magnets, and plastic anchors. Your shipment also includes a hanging template for the magnets. You'll also need to get some supplies on your own. A roll of blue tape, a pencil, a metric measuring tool, a tape measure, a screw gun, a Phillips screw bit, a square screw bit, and a long level. The 30 stars in formation are 72.6 inches in height and 76.13 inches in width. In metrics, that's 184.4 centimeters in height and 193.4 centimeters in width. So be sure you have a large enough wall before hanging. The template is a good gauge of size for the artwork. When the template is hung on the wall, the edges of it are close to the edges of the entire artwork. First you want to find a nice flat wall. Drywall is preferable. Next, mark the center of the wall both horizontally and vertically. Then, pick up the template and place it on the wall so that the hole marked center hole goes over the blue tape. Use your level to level the piece and we're going to do the right side first so make sure that the label above the center hole label says right side. Now it's time to screw the template to the wall. Make sure the template is completely level. This is critical. Look for the holes that are labeled screw to wall here and use those holes only. Put a screw in each of the holes until the template is completely flat and tight against the wall. Now it's time to attach the magnets. Put the centering drill bit in your screw gun. Take a magnet and put the tip of the centering drill bit in the hole of the magnet. Then take that and put it in one of the holes in the template. Drill. Now you have a starter hole. You're going to want to do this to all 38 holes of the template. Now that you've got 38 starter holes, you want to put the long drill bit in your screw gun and drill into those holes perfectly straight through so that the plastic anchors go in perfectly straight. Do that to all 38 holes. Next, put in your Phillips bit and grab the plastic anchors and screw those into the holes. Make sure you screw straight through and that the plastic anchor is flush with the wall. Now that you've screwed all 38 plastic anchors into the wall, it's time to screw in the magnets. Take the screws provided for you in your supply kit. Grab the magnets and start screwing them into the plastic anchors using those screws. Make sure that they're flat against the wall and parallel with the front of the template. Do this to all 38 magnets. So you should now have 38 magnets screwed into the template. Remember, do not use the center hole at all to screw anything into. Now what you want to do is while one person unscrews the template, have another person pressing the template against the wall so that the template won't slip and disturb the magnets. Then both of you gently pull the template off of the wall and rotate it 180 degrees. Then pop it back on to the magnets. Screw the template to the wall using the same screw holes as you did before. You should now have 32 holes remaining that need magnets. Repeat all the steps that you followed before on those 32 holes until those 32 holes have magnets screwed into them. After that, you should have 70 magnets in the wall. Remove the template from the wall. While one person unscrews the template, the other person will hold it on the wall so it will not slip and disturb the magnets. Now that you have 70 magnets on the wall, it's time to hang your stars. I recommend that you keep all stars in their packaging until you are finished hanging all of the magnets. 
Keep any loose magnets away from the stars. Put on the cotton gloves that came in your supply kit. Take a 12-inch star out of the packaging. All 12-inch stars are the same, so it doesn't matter which one. On the back, you will see a ring. The magnet on the wall fits into the ring. Let's put the first 12-inch star here. Make sure it's pointing up. This diagram marks in orange which magnets the rings on the backs of the stars fit into, and in black, which magnets act as additional support. Find the correct magnet and start just above it, moving down slowly. The magnets can grab the star from your hands, so be careful and go slow. You will feel it click onto the magnet. Make sure it's correctly on the wall before taking your hands off of it. It should be exactly parallel with the wall. Take your non-magnetic level that came in the supply kit and make sure the star is level. Use a non-magnetic level only. The stars are made of steel and a magnetic level will stick to them, making it very difficult to keep them level. It could even pull them off the wall. Let's put another 12-inch star on the wall next to the one you just hung. This star will be pointing down. Make sure the image on the star is pointing in the correct direction. Find the correct magnet and start just below it, moving up slowly. Be very careful not to let the magnets grab the star from your hands and overlap onto the star that's already on the wall. There is a 2.5 millimeter gap between the stars, so you have a little bit of safety room. You will feel the star click onto the magnet. Make sure it's correctly on the wall before taking your hands off of it. It should be exactly parallel with the wall. Make sure the star is level. Hang the entire inner ring of 12 inch stars. Make sure they are all level. Five of the stars are pointing up, so put the level above the star, shown here. Five of the stars are pointing down, so put the level below the star, shown here. Now let's hang a 10 inch star. Take a 10 inch star out of the packaging. All 10 inch stars are the same, so it doesn't matter which one you use. On the back, you will see a ring. The magnet on the wall fits into the ring. Find the correct magnet and start just above it, moving down slowly. Be very careful not to overlap onto the 12 inch star that's below it. There's a 2.5 millimeter gap between the stars, so you have some safety room. You will feel the star click onto the magnet. Make sure it's correctly on the wall before taking your hands off of it. It should be exactly parallel with the wall. Take your level, put it on the star, and make sure the star is level. Next, hang an 8 inch star above the 10 inch star you just hung. Take an 8 inch star out of the packaging. All 8 inch stars are the same, so it doesn't matter which one you use. On the back, you will see a ring. The magnet on the wall fits into the ring. Find the correct magnet and start just above it, moving down slowly. Be very careful not to overlap under the 10 inch star that's below it. There is a 2.5 millimeter gap between the stars so you have some safety room. You will feel it click onto the magnet. Make sure it's correctly on the wall before taking your hands off of it. It should be exactly parallel with the wall. Take your level and make sure the star is level. Now hang the rest of the stars one arm at a time. 10 inch stars first then 8 inch stars until all 30 stars are on the wall. I recommend that you start by hanging the top stars first then work your way down and you're done. You've just finished hanging 30 stars information.